let us talk about your return to Jamaica and the music. When you returned, was it easy? Was it seamless to just... When I, come, when I come back to Jamaica, it was very, very, very hard. A lot of entertainers speak to it being difficult to get radio play in Jamaica with their reggae music. Was that a concern for you? No, I'm not going to beat them bad in Jamaica. No, they do play my music. They play my music a lot in Jamaica. They do. So, they play my music a lot in England. They play my music a lot in France, Germany, Italy, Japan, you name it. They play it. I get played. Where is your favorite place to perform in the world? My favorite place to perform in the world is England. Why? Why? Vibes. The vibes. The vibes in England is even greater than the vibes in Jamaica? Well, I'm not going to say greater. Mm. But to me, the different culture, the different culture, um, vibes is different from our own culture. It's different. We have a place called San Diego. I really love to perform there in San Diego. San Diego, that's my place. San Diego, San Francisco. It put it LA. LA, yes. That's my next home away from home. So this is a hideaway? Yes, definitely. All the way up in Carter Hill. All the way up in Carter Hill. You can look out at the mountains. You can look at the mountains and the terrains and look, and I mean, the and different, the different vibes. And the place is cool. And it's very cool. Very, very cool. And another point, Barrington, you've done a number of collaborations over the years. Tell me about maybe your favorite one or just some of the ones that you really like. Well, I love the whole concept with, with Shines. You know what I mean? That was a very, very, very big look for the industry. And then after I do that, I see where a lot more start to happen. After that, you know what I mean? So there was door op doors opening when I did that collaboration with Shines. You know what I mean? I get a f they, have to, they started to do other people. You know what I mean? But that was a massive look. You've recently done a collab with DJ Khalid. You had Buju on that. You had Capitan on that. You had Bounty Killer on that. I just did something with the Gorillas as well mm -hmm. last week. Mm -hmm. So I am mean, looking forward to that coming out. And the gorillas actually flew here to do a, a writing session with you. Yes. How does that work? How does that work? It works like this. They come, they put the beat on. Okay, you come up with a concept and they will write from there. That's how it works. And that was a great vibe for you. Yeah, well, that was a brilliant vibe. You know, I mean, they're, they're, they're very nice people. It was fun to work with. I mean, very, very nice people. I mean, I mean, bless upon yourself, gorillas, because, you know, I mean, we love the island vibes, respect. Barrington, as we speak to about your radio station, it was surprising for me to take up the All Island Media Survey and look and see how far up the chart Rose's FM is. And as far as I know, you're not even island wide. So to be competing with the island wide stations and to be so close on their Heels. Can you imagine, my dear, if I, if I was island-wide, what would happen? Are you looking to go island-wide? Yes, definitely. Most definitely. What type of music do you play on well, Roses FM? We play all genre. We play all genre of music. Because I said music only spelled one way. And music is music. I get my inspiration from a variety of music. You know what I mean? And I said music is just... Music, you only spell one way, music. Where do we find it on the band? 88.9. Um, you can download the app, or you can go www.rosesfm.com and launch radio. And full joy, the full experience of Roses FM and what we have to offer. The fact that you now also have a recording studio means that you will be producing more? Yes, I'll be producing. I'm definitely looking for newcomers. You know what I mean? Talented newcomers, you know what I mean? Good songwriters as well. We're definitely interested in things like that. 
What kind of music are you talking about? What type of content? So that if someone is watching this and they say, well, let me reach out to Barrington Levy right now. What type of artists are you looking for? I'm looking for artists that can write and sing good songs. What's There's a good song? What's a good song? Uplifting songs, songs with meaning and understanding. But I mean, every song has meaning and understanding, but I don't want to stand the negative side. I'm more focused on the positive side, definitely. This journey... I mean, it doesn't matter if it don't necessarily have to be reggae, mm -hmm. you know. It can be R&B, it can be pop, it can be rock music. My favorite rock band is ZZ Top. What about gospel? Is gospel something that you're willing to visit? Also? Gospel? Definitely. Dub poetry? Yes. Penultimate question. A year of pandemic and more. How did it affect your earning? It affected my earning a lot, big time. Big, big, big time. Because you know what I miss? It's not even the earning, I miss going out and performing for people. The passion of going on stage and singing for people and watch these people singing back with you. I miss that so much. We're headed to 2022. Future expectations. Well, I'm getting ready to release a new song and I want to drop my album as well. But I am worried because if you drop a album, how do you go out and promote it in the pandemic when every country is locking down? You know, that's the only thing that bothers me at the moment. And your new song is? Money is a drug. You sing a part of it for us. Money is a drug. Yeah, yeah. Millions of people trying to climb the ladder. Might make you happy, even make you sadder. It's a road that you just can't win. Sell your soul to the devil and that's a sin. Money is the drug. Yeah. Money is the drug. Yeah, yeah. I know I said one more question and that's such a nice close. But do you think that the government of Jamaica Ministry of Culture does enough for music? No, no, because they come some... E-registry? Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you're bringing in equipment for your recording studio, they will ease up on the, the duties and its tools of trade. And trust me, that's a lie. I don't believe that. Because I can say it because I live it. It's a lie. Is it that you followed the route that you were asked they to tell, They told me to register, do what I have to do. I do everything that I have to do. I register my company and I register my personal name. Still didn't work. The other day I, I sent to get some, when the gorillas was coming to Jamaica to work with me, they were supposed to work here. And um, I sent for some equipment for them to use at the studio. When the equipment come, they hold on to it and said I have to pay. A vast amount of money. If I don't have that money, it's not going to work. So, I think the government of Jamaica need to do more for reggae music because, you see, they can't pay us to go out there and promote Jamaica. When we go out there, we are the true pioneers that go out there and promote Jamaica and don't go out there and get ourselves in any disrespectful situation for Jamaica. And I mean, we behave ourselves. When we go to the people in the country, we do our shows and we come back home. You know what I mean? So, tools of trade that you're digging us down for, 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 for duty. Whoa. Unbelievable. We say reggae music to the world. Thank you so much. And I'm still going to say reggae music to the world because they can't disencourage me. I'm still going to be representing Jamaica from my heart. And that's about it. And nothing's changed, only the weather. Thank you very much, Mr. Barrington Levy. Should we up? Whoa. See ah. And the intercom rolls, it tell me to come So she didn't have a daughter, she didn't have a son She said, 